I'm not an advocate for snacking because it puts your pancreas in overdrive. So just like we need to have our muscles recover, we need to have our pancreas recover. We need to have our cells recover from the insulin. So when you eat something, your pancreas releases insulin so that your cells can take in the glucose and turn it into energy. But insulin is also a storage hormone. So it is going to tell your body to store energy as opposed to burn energy. So that's why you might be gaining weight or adding fat to your body if you're snacking all the time. You want to prevent insulin spikes. So every time we snack, we have an insulin spike. The more we are spiking our insulin, the more our cells are getting insulin resistant. The more our cells are insulin resistant, the more insulin that needs to be um, used. And then the cycle continues, right? When your cells are insulin resistant, they are not going to be able to break down proteins. They're not going to be able to break down fat. They're only going to be able to break down refined sugars. So then you're going to be craving more refined sugars. Your body doesn't want to lose any more salt because if you lose salt, then you have more insulin in the body because insulin retains salt. So now you're not going to want to sweat. You're not going to work out. So snacking just leads to this negative feedback loop. If you're going to snack, make sure it's a low glycemic food. But we don't want to snack all the time because we want our pancreas to recover and we want our cells to recover to become less insulin resistant. So the less we're eating, the more sensitive our cells can be to the insulin, the less insulin that we need in our body.